I'm sure most of you have already heard that the FDA banned NMN, especially beta NMN, as a dietary supplement in the US. We don't know yet if it's going to be banned across the entire world and whether or not it applies directly to NMN, not just uh, the beta NMN. But regardless, I thought I'd make this video about another potential much cheaper and uh, more widespread supplement that can replace NMN and that you can use for anti-aging purposes and to raise your energy levels. Execute order 66. So the supplement is niacin and uh, niacin has a long track record of having health benefits especially in reducing cardiovascular disease risk and reducing cholesterol levels and uh, when it comes to NAD metabolism then niacin and any other form of niacin like niacinamide, nicotinamide or niacin alone uh, has been found to also have a positive effect on NAD levels and raising NAD uh, levels. So this 2020 study actually found that, yeah, niacin supplementation in uh, like uh, patients with uh, mitochondrial myopathy was able to cure systemic NAD deficiency and improve uh, muscle performance. So the niacin supplementation increased muscle strength, mitochondrial mass, exercise performance, glycogen, uh, liver fat reduction, hemoglobin reduction, etc. So what they did was that they gave niacin in doses of 750 to 1000 milligrams a day to patients and their matched controls for 10 or 4 months respectively. Blood NAD increased in all subjects up to 8 fold and muscle NAD of patients reached the level of their controls. Another 2021 study found that even a single oral supplementation of nicotinamide within the daily tolerable upper limit increases blood NAD levels in healthy subjects. So uh, they have done previous studies with 200 milligrams of nicotinamide which increases blood NAD levels but in this particular study, they uh, gave the participants of uh, five healthy adults uh, oral supplementation of 500 milligrams of nicotinamide, which did increase significantly blood NAD levels after 12 hours and showed a trend of increase after 48 hours as well. But supplementing 100 milligrams of nicotinamide or water intake only didn't change the NAD levels. So apparently, like the threshold appears to be like 200 milligrams of nicotinamide for this to have like an NAD boosting effect. So how does it work? You know, their body produces NAD in different pathways. The main pathways are uh, Priestlander pathway, the normal biosynthesis pathway, and the salvage pathway. And nicotinic acid or niacin goes through the uh, Priestlander pathway that creates NAD. The, uh, the normal biosynthesis pathway works with uh, tryptophan and you have the salvage pathway that uses nicotinamide that you can get from that or a supplement that uh, helps with NAD recycling through the salvage pathway. And uh, the vast majority of the daily NAD actually comes from the salvage pathway. So uh, yeah, it's actually much better and more important to boost your NAD levels with the uh, salvage pathway where the nicotinamide uh, comes into play. It is assessed that uh, you can meet your daily like a price and the pathway demand with NAD production with only like 12, 20 milligrams of daily niacin. But like the vast majority of it still comes from the salvage pathway. And even if you do get all the NAD from your diet, then you would still want to have the salvage pathway working properly because that what is recycling the NAD. Or every time you produce NAD from any source, even if you take the supplements, NMN or nicotinamide riboside, a lot of it still goes back to the salvage pathway and is uh, recycled. So that's why you need to have the NAMPT enzyme working properly, which requires actually circadian rhythm alignment and some exercise. And boosting that with the nicotinamide is uh, one of the, you know, like a core essential like supplements I would take for everyone pretty much like because it's going to help with the salvage pathway. It's going to help with other aspects of energy production and the metabolic health. So there's no like, you know, downside to it. So in conclusion, niacinamide, nicotinamide or niacin, they're all great ways to boost your energy levels. And they are a much cheaper and uh, much easier accessible alternative to NMN. And, uh, you know, I think that NMN still has like a lot more potency than niacinamide or nicotinamide when it comes to like acutely raising your energy levels. But over the long term, you still want to focus on niacinamide and uh, the salvage pathway specifically to make sure that you do recycle your NAD. If you want to learn more about that, then check out my uh, circadian NAD activation system guide. But on that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.